kids learn to draw is a triangle, but when they see a 3D version, it can get very confusing. Yeah, you know what that means. It's time for some munchkin math, learning the difference between two-dimensional and three-dimensional. It's very, very tough. That's why we brought in a pro. She's the <laughs> educator and founder of Munchkin Math. Wendy Miller is back with us this morning. So, Wendy, why is it so tough for the kids to get those two and hold those theories together? Um, the theories aren't as hard for them to hold together as the vocabulary itself. Mm -hmm. Language is taught throughout the world through three steps. First, children listen, then they speak, then they learn how to read and write. Then they quit listening. And then they quit listening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, but what happens is, as parents, we need to use these terms so that the kids can listen to them. We oftentimes say in our houses, that's a circle, that's a triangle, that's a square. You hear parents all the time introducing those three. But as we talked about with two-dimensional shapes, sometimes we forget to do hexagon, rhombus, trapezoid. Well, same thing with 3D shapes. We have balls all over the house that kids play with, mm -hmm. but then we don't say, that's a sphere. Mm -hmm. Or we don't oh. say with... Uh, um, cube, we don't say, hey, that's a cube, or with a Kleenex box, that's a rectangular prism. We don't <laughs> say these words to kids. Right. <laughs> Could I you hand me that rectangular <laughs> prism? I have a cold. <laughs> exactly, and it, the, the more you can say those words to kids and that they hear them, the more they're going to go to the second step of language acquisition and start to speak those words. As we know with kids, they don't say anything they haven't heard. <laughs> and so, just with any, as with any other term, we need to change our mentality as parents sometimes and just start introducing those words to kids to make them really comfortable with them. Mm -hmm. So we have a song oh. for between 2D and 3D. It's an easy one. We just say um, 2D's flat like paper. You guys ready? Okay. Yeah. okay. okay. There's the pause. You gotta get the two, <laughs> 2D's, 2D's flat, flat like paper. paper. And as parents, I think a lot of times parents think, oh, my kid knows their shapes. You know, we used to have a kiosk down at the Cherry Creek Mall, and we would talk to parents about shapes, and parents would walk by, and I'd say, you know, does your child know their shapes? Oh, my kid knows their shapes. And then I asked the child, you know, do you know what a cube is? No. <laughs> do you know what mom it? and dad look really yeah. bad. Yeah. So our website, if you go on it, munchkinmath.com, and you click on shapes, there's a lot of information for parents to say, does your child really know their shapes? Are they where they need to be to start school. Right. So that's they may really know a circle, important. a square, but mm -hmm. once you get three-dimensional on them, Exactly, and 3D shapes are all over your house. Parents need to remember that. We live in a 3D world, so sure. showing that to kids. Okay? Oh, great. Okay. Fun. Well, that makes Something it a little bit easier. Something new for the new year. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit easier. Thanks, Wendy. I know you'll be sure. back next week with more Munchkin Math. Yes. Help teach your kids really excel in math. That's important these days. It is. Okay. And remember, if you'd like more information on Munchkin Math, you can get that from MyFoxColorado.com. She has a great selection of DVDs that can keep these kids yet entertained, but you're feeding them knowledge all at the same time. <laughs> MyFoxColorado.com. Just click under the links page. Mm -hmm. Coming up on Kitty Colorado.